It has been quite some time since I've done a repair to a Walkman. I bought another one. It's right here, let me just get it for you. Here it is. This is a Sony Sports Walkman, the WM-F35. Now this has not been made in Japan, this is made in Taiwan. So I don't know what the quality difference between the two would be, uh, but yeah, I imagine Japanese one is probably gonna be a bit better quality. Maybe things like the glue in Taiwan weren't as good because as you can see, this, the glue is just peeling off and uh, has, yeah, the little lens has just completely fallen out. Um, so we are gonna need to glue that back in if that's even gonna be possible. We'll have to figure all of that out a little bit later. So let's take a look at the listing. I'll tell you how much I paid for this little thing. So I paid a grand total of five pounds and two pounds postage. Uh, these are the photos. He does show uh, the lens, you know, has fallen off clearly. In the description, it just says Sony Sports Walkman, not working, repair or for parts. So that is pretty much all of the information we have. We don't know what's not working. We don't know if it, it might work. Um, some people don't have cassettes to test these things. So what we shall do is take some headphones, plonk them in the top. I've always liked how the, uh, the Sports Walkman's battery covers um, work. They have these little levers and when you pull the lever, it just sort of shoots up. Oh, there's some batteries in it. Blimey, that's very nice. Right, let's see how we go about turning this thing on. So we wanna try the radio first. Is there a button inside? Um, yes. Here we go. Is that on? Oh. Okay, so you press this button here and that turns on the radio. Now let's get a little tunage going. Oh yeah. Okay, that works fantastically. Now what we wanna try is the cassette. So let's chuck this in. This is the soundtrack to Quicksilver. Bloody fantastic movie, amazing soundtrack. Okay, and we're gonna go mono, no we're not, we're gonna go, uh, actually I don't know if we need to even adjust that. Ooh. Okay, so it's not running at the right speed, that is for sure. But fast forward, rewind works, stop. Although it just does not run at the right speed. So what we can do is take a look at replacing the belts in this thing. Uh, we may need to replace a couple of capacitors. I'm not 100% sure. Um, obviously, we're gonna need to address the lens on the front. We're gonna need to give the whole thing a clean. Um, the other condition I was talking about is the little port cover here for the, um, I think this is for the AC, I imagine. This is completely destroyed um, and is just basically perished. See what we can do. Hopefully we can replace the belt. Hopefully I've got a replacement belt. Then hopefully we can um, maybe replace a couple of capacitors on the audio board and we should be good to go for a run with our brand new sports Walkman. So I have managed to take off the motherboard. Unfortunately, all of the capacitors on here have been sort of hot glued over and trying to get that off without ripping up traces is gonna be an absolute nightmare. So although we may not have audio at its um, sort of highest point that it would have been when, we, when this was first purchased, I'm not really willing to try and remove that hot glue. It's just gonna be an absolute nightmare. Um, as for the belt, they're not actually too bad. Um, so basically, I'm gonna take them off, which is really, really simple with the 
with these, you just remove them. Um, a good indication of whether or not they're stretched is having a look at their shape. Uh, as you can see, this is quite egg-shaped, and if I try and squeeze it back into its right sort of place, it does um, sort of spring back. And that is because um, it has been sat in this position um, for such a long time with, you know, with one point being stretched here and then the other points being stretched here, meaning it's not going to, you know, have been rested in a perfect circular sort of shape. Um, that's a good indication of a belt that's been worn. Trying to remove this belt might, might prove to be a little bit difficult. Let's have a look. Uh, no, it should be all right, actually. So here's the other one. Again, not actually too bad, and they are quite springy still, which is um, good. They're not, you know, sort of taking a while to stretch back into their original place. They're stretching quite good. Um, they're actually both more or less the same size, which is good. Um, so if I can find two of these um, in my bag of replacement belts, then I will replace them. If not, I'm going to just continue using the original ones, but let's take a look and see um, if I can find any replacements. Now I bought this bag of belts for probably about a pound from China. They do take a while to come down and um, some of them in here aren't brand new, but some of them are. Now the difficulty with these belts is obviously not any sort of quality control. So some belts you will find will have different thicknesses sort of all the way. And these ones are in weird shapes just because they've been scrunched up in a bag, but they're actually gonna be perfectly sound. Um, let me see if I can try and show you what I mean. So yeah, with this one here, um, it's gonna be quite difficult to see, but basically it's thinner in some areas. Um, now that does cause a problem because that means that it's elasticity and tension is gonna be different on the, uh, you know, the rings and the cogs as it goes round. Um, and the motor is gonna drive this at the same speed and it won't be catering for this belt's um, differentiation in, in thickness. So basically, they're not gonna be fantastic. So let's see if we can find two that are pretty similar um, to these ones. Now, I've actually just picked up these two, um, which are really, really similar to the original ones that I've just taken out. Um, these were sort of stuck together. So potentially, we could use these ones. So I'm gonna actually just set all of this to the side, make sure that I don't lose the uh, original ones. So these two here on the left-hand side are the replacements. These two are the original. These ones are slightly bigger than these, which is actually what you want. You wanna make sure you're finding ones just a tiny bit smaller, uh, because obviously if this is stretched over time, then it's not gonna be its uh, original size. Here's an example of a bad quality control one, by the way, look at that. Let us put this belt on here and see how this works. Let's see if this is gonna be any good. Now, it doesn't matter if the belt goes on slightly um, you know, awkwardly because when it starts spinning, it will just level out. That actually looks pretty good. Let's try this one now as well. And spin that around. Good stuff. Okay, that's actually looking rather good. So there's a bunch of different potentiometers on the motherboard here, and I'm not sure which one's actually going to adjust the speed of the motor, but before I do that, I may have actually fixed the problem by replacing these belts because these ones would have stretched a little bit. Um, it might not have had, you know, the original, the setting that this would have been set up for might just not have catered for the stretching in these belts. So now that I've put some in that might be a little bit more closer to the original size, we might be completely sorted here. So let's see if I can pop this thing back together again. Oh no, we can't do any of this because I've desoldered the headphone port. Okay, crap. Right, what we're gonna have to do then, let's just see at least if it actually spins. That'll be um, good to know. Let's have a look. Um, which one is play? Okay. Lovely. Right, I'm really happy with that. So I'm gonna now resolder the um, headphone port back in.
Uh oh, okay, here we go. Right, there's no going back now. So I basically, I'm just gonna put quite a thick layer on the whole thing, right? And then I'm gonna sort of spread it around a bit because there's quite a large surface area to be adhering. And then I'm gonna sort of let it dry a little bit before I stick anything on. I don't know why I'm gonna do that. I just feel like that's the right thing to do. But let's just set this down first. And then we'll go in with this piece. Okay. And then if you sort of twist, you know, just gently ply around with the area there that you're um, super gluing down just to make sure that it actually, you know, really gets, gets stuck on there, spreads it around a bit, you know. The only thing to do now is to actually test it because I haven't done that yet. So let's chuck our batteries in. Here we go. Very nervous because if this is not working now, then I put the whole thing back together. We've got our little door mechanism working, lovely. All good. Here we go. Cassette in. We'll put it in. Com sa. Pop that in. Press play. That works. Okay, here we go. Right, headphones in. Hopefully this works now because obviously we desoldered that, so it might not. And we're gonna do this together. Here we go. Hey, that is indeed noise. Right, I'm gonna give this another listen. I don't know if it's too fast yet, it might be. Right, it's a little bit fast. It's only a tiny bit fast and I'm actually not, I'm not bothered by that at all. It's only a tad fast. Um, and also that being said, these belts will actually stretch and get sort of, um, you know, get stretched more and then it will slow down a little bit. So I am very happy with that. Look at it. I mean, it's an absolute unit. It's a quite weighty little thing, but um, yeah, lovely. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Sony Walkman, Sports Walkman, FM, AM, F35. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh, our operation light works as well. I didn't even check that. That sounded really cool through my headphones.